Kemmin 3, the series where we spend no more than 333 seconds to consider three important points for the IB chemistry exam. Today, we consider the nucleophilic substitution reaction with this structure, iodoethane. Let's go inside and take a look. First, we must realize that Iodoethane is a primary halogenoalkane, with the halogen group here being attached to carbon, which is attached to two hydrogens, and then a CH3, a primary halogenoalkane. The sodium hydroxide provides the nucleophile, OH, which is a very strong nucleophile with its lone pair and its negative charge. A nucleophile is also a Lewis base. And here you can see the attack of the nucleophile on the halogenoalkane. Here the lone pair associates with the central carbon and it forms what is known as a transition state. And this bond would be drawn as a partial bond and the exiting halogen group would also be drawn as a partial bond. Finally, we end up with this structure, the halogen group having exited, in this case, the particular halogen is iodine. And the OH approaching from the back side of the molecule pushes out the iodine to form C2H5OH ethanol. This particular question was taken from the IB specimen exam in 2016. And here you can see the structure of iodoethane with the nucleophile approaching. This is the correct way to draw the transition state with the iodine drawn as a partial bond and the nucleophile approaching 180 degrees away from it. This in a straight line with this, also indicated as a partial bond with the entire thing in square brackets with a negative charge on the outside. The products are ethanol and the I negative ion. We should also note that the solvent for this reaction must be polar because you have charged species involved, but more significantly, we need an aprotic solvent to allow for the OH to be in a naked state and to be free to attack. A protic solvent would form hydrogen bonds to the OH and reduce its ability to attack this partially positive carbon and to allow for the exit of the iodine. Good examples of aprotic solvents are ethyl ethanoate and propanone. So the rate of this reaction then depends on two molecular entities, the nucleophile and the halogenoalkane. So it is correct to say that the rate expression is this. Rate is equal to K times the concentration of the iodoethane times the concentration of the hydroxide ion. Such a reaction is said to have a rate determining step, an RDS, that is bimolecular.